Leo ni siku ya clinic. Clinic ya wale wanapendana. Kwa hivyo usikuje peke yako na usisahau kubeba kadi ya clinic. Lazima ukuje na kadi ya clinic. Ndio tukushughulikie vilivyo. As always our reception is ready. We are ready for you today. We want to talk about dating and some of the pitfalls and things people tend to ignore when they are dating. Uh, they usually say that love is blind and I agree. When uh, those emotions are high, you don't see a lot of things. But I usually tell people, marriage will get you healed. The blindness will fade off. You will begin to see things you are not seeing on the other side. And so we want to talk about that. Earlier on, I'd asked the question of the day. What are some common red flags that people tend to ignore when they are dating? Stacy and Asema, girls tend to run for the tall, dark, and handsome man that's missing the whole point of love. He told dark and handsome si juu zitoke wapi. Na wale wafupi wafupi na wamenenepa kiasi wataenda wapi ladies. <laughs> told dark and handsome I think we are watching too many soap operas. Vincent my good friend the chairman you say kuna kashetani flani when you are dating and it's going well the person you approached last starts texting you and sweethearting you before you realize it the person you are dating ameona hiyo SMS and trouble begins my friend the the troubles that come with technology today would want to find out your thoughts as we get into this conversation what do you think are some common red flags that people tend to ignore when they are dating this morning we get to hang out with two amazing guests first and foremost uh, i've got apostle St stella ngoka she is a minister of the gospel she's a wife she is a mother a mentor to many she's also an author and the founder of glory restoration ministries in kenya apostle stella ngoka karibu sana thank you it's good to have you thank you we want to hear your wisdom thank you <laughs> yes also with us today we have reverend bonfas makanda senior pastor glory church uko kwa diaspora in ongata rungai he's also a lecturer at Grace College of East Africa. He is a trainer on family and marriage seminars and also Christian leadership. Reverend Bonfas, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Karibu sana. Asante sana. It is good to have both of you in studio today. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm just curious. Yes. Uh, somebody talked about the tall, dark, and handsome. Mm. In Christian circles, we talk about, you know, the, the, the is it Mr. Right? The, the one that God has ordained for me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I've seen people who uh, maybe either wait too long, mm -hmm. because in their mind they have this picture of a perfect man that mm -hmm. God has for them. Mm -hmm. is, is, is that an issue or is that the way it should be? Apostle. Oh, th thank you for, for inviting me. Yes. And uh, today we are discussing a very important subject. Yeah. Uh, which has uh, been a challenge, mm -hmm. especially to the young people yes. who are dating, yes. or rather who want to, to marry. Mm. And uh, it's very important people to understand that uh, our days is not the days of today. Yes. Yes. Mm. Today, people, they need to be very, very careful, mm -hmm. especially when they are dating, because... Uh, the world has still become wicked. Mm -hmm. The society has still become very hostile. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I think people, they did, uh, the young people, or rather anyone who is dating, mm -hmm. there are things he needs to observe. Okay. There are things that he needs to observe. Uh, there are things that he should not ignore. Mm -hmm. uh, like if you are dating somebody and you are meeting that person on the first day, mm -hmm. And uh, here he comes with the, uh, I, I want sex. Mm. That is a very uh, good signal that this person is mm. not after you. Mm -hmm. It's after sex. Ufanya kama Joseph. Yes. Shiki barabara Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or rather somebody comes and is like, uh, is telling you, how much he has, how much money he has in, he has in, account, in the account, mm -hmm. how many cars he's driving. Mm -hmm. It means this person is still, is not after you. Mm -hmm. he, he wants, to, there's something he wants to show you that he may win you. Mm -hmm. And after he has won you, you might find what he spoke is not what uh, he has. Yeah. So I think today there, is a lot, there are many liars than our times, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know. There are many fake Mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. 
in our times there were not things like wig. Mm. Uh, you know, like today there's a lot <laughs> all kinds of things yes. that can make somebody uh -huh. become fake. Mm. Uh, there, there, there are a lot of things, there are a lot of cosmetics of all types. And it's very easy for, especially men, yeah. to come to realize what I went for mm. after you have reached the house mm. is not what she is. I usually tell young men, first date in Peleka swimming. <laughs> yes, take that <laughs> for a swimming and... Everything that is not natural in Tamagika commercial. <laughs> yes, even if it is teeth, you know, today there are many fake things, even teeth. You might see somebody and you think he has 32. You come to realize he has two when you reach the house. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you know, oh, uh, just, just, just uh, uh, thinking about this whole issue of red flags and pitfalls, there are, some things, there are some things it is what it is, you know, and it may not necessarily affect the relationship in a negative way, mm -hmm. but there are things that you cannot ignore. Mm -hmm. And uh, Reverend, I'm just wondering, yes. sometimes, I don't know whether you do the same thing in your church, sometimes in church I tell young people that if you see somebody you're interested in and you want to pursue a relationship with mm. them, let us know. Let us, your leaders, know. Yes. You know, just for the sake of accountability. Yes. But a lot of young people don't want that accountability. Is that an issue or are we making a fuss out of it? Um, you know, first of all, we need to come to the realization that uh, relationship is God's plan and agenda for mankind. Yeah. God is in relationship and therefore he expects us also to be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And therefore, having said that, you realize that, that uh, as we said, if love is blind, mm. <laughs> then marriage will open your eyes. <laughs> because we are not entering into anything for a trial, trial and error, mm -hmm. and keep off. Mm. This is a serious business that mm. one has to, uh, to examine him or herself first mm -hmm. before entering. Yes. Uh, when you come to that, I come to realization that uh, we don't just choose our marriage spouses. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of problems are happening because many people have decided to go for choosing. And mm. when you go, what we do, we discern our spouses. Oh, so we should not choose, we should discern. Or Beside what I say. Besides choosing, yes. discernment should be number one. Okay. Because choosing mm. goes by what you see My physically, senses. your yes. senses. Yeah. And sometimes they might be wrong. That's why you have the fakeness mm. that the apostle is talking about, the masks people mm -hmm. normally put on. But whereby you go by discernment, Mm. You are likely not to see some things in this person, but discernment has to do with the going after God's choice for you or mm. what God, is, what your heart is able to perceive. Because you need to realize mm. we see both with our eyes and mm -hmm. also with our heart. Yeah. So whatever our heart, our eyes can see, sometimes it may not be exactly what the heart is able to see. Mm -hmm. But when you go after the discernment, we have to realize that uh, no one is perfect. You're not going to marry an angel to live with them in heaven. No. But when God leads you that you're able to discern what he has given to you, mm -hmm. you realize that uh, there may be some weaknesses. Yeah. Uh, you too, keeping in mind that you also have, you also have weakness, weaknesses. Yeah. weaknesses. Mm. But the discernment will have to overlook that mm. because the discernment has to carry with the bigger perspective of destiny and purpose mm -hmm. you have in life. Reverend, sometimes when we talk about discernment, I've, yes. I've sometimes I have conversations with young people yes. and they say, I mean, look at so-and-so. Mm -hmm. They told us they prayed. Mm -hmm. They told us it's the will of God. Yes. Look at how their marriage is going. Uh -huh. You know, so they did, did, does it mean God lied to them? Does it mean they were hearing their own things? Because you have those scenarios. So yes, when we yes, talk yes. about designing, yes. you know, does it mean that if I design, I'm guaranteed I will have a good marriage? And then uh, also, how do okay. I know how to design? Okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Now, you know, the problem has been that many people approach God with alternative in their minds already. Okay. You go to pray, you go, you are seeking after God, but you don't have any alternative. Yeah. Secondly, people even go to places of worship with the wrong motive. It's like whatever has taken them to a place of worship mm -hmm. is just to get a wife. Mm. But I want to believe that once you have decided to grow deep into the word of God, mm -hmm. the word of God, because there's no discernment or spiritual gift that works outside the given word of God. God the word yeah. of God is like is like the measure. Mm -hmm. It's like a, uh, the the mirror. Yeah. You see yourself from the word of God. Mm. Anybody growing in the word of God, 
uh, he is into prayer, fellowship, and all those things. Mm -hmm. I want to believe they grow to a level that their spirit becomes in tune with the Holy Spirit, able to see, mm. to discern things. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that those people who saw like they who say like they discerned, yeah. or they prayed, and this happened. It's very wrong when you go to pray, but you already have an answer. You're saying like, Father, I pray you give me this gen. I, I pray that you give me a wife. But in your heart, mm. it's like, especially if possible, mm. this gen. Yeah. Because you see, anytime your heart condition and your mouth are not together, mm -hmm. you realize you make a blunder. Mm -hmm. So whatever you think from the heart mm. should be the same thing you confess, even though you may not like it. Yeah. Because the issue is, are you open enough and ready to receive whatever God is giving to you, mm -hmm. even if that's not what you like? So, Apostle, if I, if I hear Pastor right, mm. is Pastor then uh, 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 saying that even before we get into the dating scene, it should begin in a place of prayer yes. where we allow God to direct us? Yes, uh, yes I support what Pastor is saying. Yes. Uh, we need to uh, involve God. Mm -hmm. People need to involve God when mm. they are dating. Yeah. You see, the, the Word of God says in Proverbs chapter 18 and verses 22, mm. he who finds... Mm -hmm. Uh, a wife fights a good thing. Yeah. So I see you have a responsibility. When it comes to find, yes. who is finding? You. The man is the one finding. Uh, the man who is the one yes. who is finding. So you have a responsibility. Mm -hmm. And in this responsibility, you need to involve God. Mm -hmm. uh, I usually tell people, it's only uh, Adam mm -hmm. whom God found for him, the mm -hmm. wife. Anybody else, you will have to find. Mm -hmm. Anybody else. Adam diwa litaftiwa na mungu. Mm. Lakini mtu ya yote yule mm. atanjitaftia. Mm -hmm. That's why you must find and you must involve God uh -huh. when you are finding. Okay. And uh, in this, that's why pastor is saying you need to, uh, to be prayerful. Mm -hmm. But still I have a question. Uh, there is a question here. Mm. What about they that does not know how to pray? Because mm. there are people. There are people who don't know how to pray. Who don't know how to yeah. pray. But I can say because it's 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 God who mm. found who began this. Yes. So even that person who does not know how to pray, mm -hmm. God will will help him. Okay. Will help him because marriage it's go, it's about God. Mm -hmm. Whether it is for an unbeliever, mm -hmm. whether it is for a believer, mm. God is the one who began marriage. Okay. S but you need to involve God mm. when you are finding because if you don't, it's easy. Because women are led sad many. Yeah. So if you don't involve God, you'll be going with that one, you dump, you jump to that mungine. one, you dump, you go to that Latest one. model. Yes. Ah, yes. yes. <laughs> and at the end of the day, you find you have, you have nothing. A friend of mine keeps saying that uh, yes. the process of dating yes. is a process of collecting data mm -hmm. about a person mm -hmm. and analyzing that data mm -hmm. to see if this is the person suitable for you. And so... I'm wondering, when it comes to character issues, yes. are there characters that one, character traits that one should not ignore? Yes. Because sometimes we also think, Reverend, that yes. once we get married, I will mm -hmm. change him or I will change her. So from your perspective as a man of God, are there some character issues that one should not ignore? Yes, yes. yes. Actually, no one should enter into a relationship that I want to change so and so and make him better or mm -hmm. be what I fit. Mm -hmm. Anything to do with change has to do with changing me. Mm. Because you need to understand another thing in a relationship or in getting a spouse yeah. that you attract yourself. You attract yourself? You attract yourself. Ooh. Sometimes when you are too wicked, you find you are attracting the same person <laughs> of wicked. If you are a drunkard who is always in clubs, mm. who are you going to get? Exactly. Yes. So you attract yourself. So when it comes to people's character or changing people, people changing, mm. we have a lot of people who normally put on masks. Mm. And that's why today you came up with a topic of the pitfall. We yes. call them hazards. hazards. We call them the red flags. Yes. The pitfalls. I have some few things that uh, can help people to identify Mm -hmm. uh, whether this is wrong or, or not. Okay. Number one thing we cannot ignore is about uh, religion barriers. We may try to ignore mm. saying that maybe anybody can marry anyone. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is where your faith conflicts, yes. your belief system, your mindset, your behavior mm. will always conflict and you will never go the same way. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says 
two can never work together unless, unless they, they agree. agree. Mm -hmm. And the agreement has to start, first of all, with where you seek God from. Okay. That is prayer. So religion barrier, never ignore that. And never should you ever think that if I get anyone, no matter who, from which religion, I mm. try to change them. Sometimes you may be the one being changed. Mm. It's called dating evangelism. <laughs> <laughs> dating evangelism, I don't believe it. It's uh, somehow wrong. Yeah. Eventually, you may think you're strong enough. It's like uh, pulling someone who is up. Mm. You, you are, uh, when you're born again, you are up. Maybe yeah. you are standing on a stool. The non-believer is on the ground. Mm. So who is likely to bring the other one down? The one down is likely to bring the one up down. down. Yeah. So don't be so assured. In rare cases, mm -hmm. you can be used to convert someone. Yeah. But I also want to make this uh, categorically. Mm. When you are administering or evangelizing to someone, mm -hmm. what should be in your mind or, or the object should be bringing that person to Christ, mm -hmm. first not of to all? God. Not to your house. <laughs> not to your house. <laughs> it's true. So if the relationship there alone will grow, mm -hmm. later on will grow, mm. and then uh, you now develop into a relationship, yeah. let that be another thing. Bad eye. Okay. But that should not be the beginning. Okay. Another thing maybe that uh, b before uh, I give... Uh, yeah, before uh, Apostle also says, says something. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Another thing is also about uh, dating someone who is already broken or hurting. Many mm. people are entering into relationship like a place of hiding or getting... Uh, getting uh, healing yeah. or getting someone to comfort them. Somebody to complete me. To complete mm. me. Yes. You don't need anyone to complete. The only person who can complete you is God. Yeah. So you need to be complete first before you get someone else. Or else, mm -hmm. with your heart, you will end up hurting the other person mm -hmm. you are trying to enter into relationship mm -hmm. with. Okay. Mm -hmm. Apostle, do you have any other character traits that you think uh, one should not ignore? Uh, there, there, are, there are people, especially we ladies, mm -hmm. you enter into a relationship because you want to prove to uh -huh. your ex that yes. you, you are still in market. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you quickly you have left another relationship. Yeah. You are hurt, you are broken as pastor said. Mm -hmm. Then because you want to prove you just jump into another relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get hurt more as pastor has said. The, the, the other thing especially uh, uh, people are born again. Yeah. As Pastor has said, you cannot change somebody because I've, uh, I've had cases whereby ladies you get you you marry mm -hmm. uh, as a sinner, you are in the church, you are in the praise and worship team, and you say, oh, I've stayed for too long. Let I marry this mm. person. It will stop alcohol. But yeah. you find when you get that person, it Mm -hmm. It becomes what? Diana Sidi. Mm. So it, it's, it's very important to, 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 to be careful. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. Communication. Yes. Rev, uh, Apostle talked about uh, there's a lot of fakeness. Yes, yes. We live in a social, social media driven yes. world. Exactly. And everybody wants to put their best forward, yes. even if it is not the reality. Yes. You know, so what's the place of authenticity in a relationship? Because if this is somebody you're pursuing a relationship mm. and eventually you're thinking of marriage, mm -hmm. you know, what's the place of authentic authenticity? How do I determine the authenticity of a person? Uh, number one, that's why we have what you call courtship. Mm -hmm. I know we use the word dating, but mostly the Bible language is courting. Mm. So when the reason for courtship is simply coming to know one another. Yeah. And you have to come to a place of vulnerability and whereby everything is laid naked. Mm. And this has to do w with the learning people's be knowing people's behavior, yes. knowing people's uh, temper management, mm -hmm. knowing how people are can be able to manage fin their finances, mm. hygiene. Mm. There are several things that people normally hide, and that is why you should not just enter into this marriage in has like few weeks, two weeks. You have not yet known each other. Yeah. You have already entered, and also I want to believe in every relationship. There are people that God has brought around in your life mm. that maybe are likely to know the person you are trying to date. Yeah. And uh, you should not ignore mm. the things they tell. Okay, you're not going to follow everything fully mm. because you also have jealous people mm. yeah. who, who will tell you that uh, this one is a night runner. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas actually it's just jealous yeah. because maybe you have decided to choose mm. them over the over other the one. Other, mm. So the best thing that validates the authenticity of a person, number one, is time. 
and uh, and when when i mean what i mean by time is that uh, if you can be spending some time in prayer in studying of the word of god and also talking in a place that is public not like uh, you cannot go to someone's bedroom to discuss and try mm. to know about this mm. person mm. in such kind of places you, you know with the time People's character, go to a place like, let us go and have coffee. Yeah. You see how your fiancé or your boyfriend or your girlfriend, how he's mistreating the mm. waiters, mm -hmm. how they are shouting and talking to people. You can say, let us go to Aboretum today and have prayer. You'll see whether, do they like prayer? But there's something the Bible talks about, compatibility. Yeah. Compatibility is whereby your likes and my likes are almost the same. Mm -hmm. Sometimes um, you need to, try to test first before you trust. Mm. And what do you mean by test? Testing first before trusting is before you fully give out yourself and expose. There are people, they have met you today, uh -huh. but they have told you everything that has happened in their family even a few years ago. Yeah. Mm. You still don't know whether this person you are going to enter into a relationship with, mm. but they already know everything about you. They mm. know your mother. They know the weakness. But, and people come with like, a, I, I know I have this weakness. You need to learn about this. I know I have mm. this weakness. Most of the people who does that, they are only trying to entice you. And this, there's a possibility. Mm -hmm. They're not even going to change from that weakness, even after marriage. Mm -hmm. So you need to create time whereby you are able to know one another well. Mm. And as you had said, if possible, it's also good to share with your spiritual leaders mm -hmm. if they are there. Mm. Because uh, they might pray for you. Like a story of a lady, uh, a lady who said she'll never get married until God speaks audibly to her. She, to her mm. And she hears that. Uh, it was here in Kenya. Mm. And this, uh, there's a young man who really loved this lady. Yeah. I don't, I don't know whether he loved or he liked the lady. So the guy said, uh, because what she, he, she wants a voice, mm. I'll produce the voice. So the guy came <laughs> with a light at night to a bedroom, to a nyumba ya this girl, because uh, uh, the grass touched a uh, house. Yes. That ikona muanya pale juu. Yeah. Na is, una juzi flood la isaku charge squeeze iko na moto. Akamulika ugo na. So amulimulika <laughs> and the guy said, Hey, Susan, <laughs> do not ignore her job. He is the one for you. So the lady went to the pastor and said, Pastor, <laughs> yesterday I had uh, an encounter and uh, God spoke to me that yes. this man he is the one. He's the one. The pastor said, uh, I think we need to pray about it, more about it. Yeah. So that if it's God, we, we need to hear the, the second time. Mm. And when they were saying that, apparently this young man was just walking around in the church. He also heard <laughs> that yeah. it, it has to be the second or the third yeah, time. Okay. So the guy repeatedly did that. Mm. The, the pa then the pastor said, I, I have been praying about it, but my heart is not still convinced. Yes. As if there's something wrong. But the lady said, Pastor, I've been praying and, and waiting upon hearing. the Lord. Yeah. And I've heard the voice. Mm. I think this is the time. So, you know, when two people say they have heard the voice from God, what do you do? What do you do? You join them. Mm. And then they'll open their eyes while they are there. Oh, my Later goodness. Later on, after marriage, the man said, in fact, I don't want to go to church. I only came to church because of you. For your information, God never spoke to you. I'm the one who The light became darkness. Exactly. The light became mm. darkness. Mm. And by the time this man is, do, is saying this, the lady is already pregnant. Uh -huh. uh, they're already in marriage. She's embarrassed and feeling ashamed to go tell people that yeah. this what, what has happened. Yeah. She's already in a mess. Depression enters and people start suffering internally. Mm. Mm. So I think listening to the voice of leaders as well, mm -hmm. because how does God speak? Number one, he speaks through familiar voice. Yeah. You remember when Samuel was sleeping and mm. God was calling him, the voice that looked familiar, which yeah. is his pastor's voice. Yeah. It also depends on the, the relationship between this person and the pastor mm -hmm. or the leader. If your relationship with the leader is not very good, even if danger arises, mm -hmm. you are not going to listen to it. Wow. Yeah. Apostle, talk to us a bit about unrealistic expectations, because sometimes I feel especially with this generation, people have such mm. high standards high they standards. want mm. for this person who will marry them or for the person that, mm. you know, will, will, will eventually end up being their husband. Mm. And it becomes uh, unachievable. Mm. 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 I, I agree with you when you say uh, many, especially ladies, they get into relationship with mm -hmm. high expectation. Yeah. And one of the expectations is uh, uh, this man will take me out of the troubles that I am in. Mm -hmm. You find you have been hustling. Yes. And uh, you jump mm -hmm. into a marriage 
because you want to come out from your state. And uh, when you find this man is not able to put your heart there, mm. you get so disappointed. Yeah. Some of it is also, like today, men are getting married by cars, because this man has a car, yes. you know, you <laughs> jump <laughs> <in your marriage. laughs> You know, uh, you find it's like you are not getting married to the man, you mm. are getting married to the salary of that man, mm -hmm. you are getting married mm -hmm. to the house of that man, mm -hmm. you, because you have seen he has a very big house. Yeah. Uh, 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 and when this man becomes himself, you know, you get very much disappointed. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember a case uh, I, I dealt with mm -hmm. of a lady who dated somebody online. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a Muzungu. Mm -hmm. He never knew it was somebody from committee. Oh. Alikuwa meweka poto ya Muzungu. And they, that man was patient of her uh, for two years. They were communicating, communicating, and they promised that he's coming to Kenya yes. to marry her. And uh, she was from the village in Kangundo. And the lady oh went and uh, hired, uh, you know, uh, the, Noah, this big yeah. car, carried the parents to the airport. This Chaboke. The man account. They are Kuta. waiting for the, for the white man. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, that time I was, I used to be on hair in one of the radio stations. Yes. That's where she had taken my number. Yeah. I did not know her. She called me uh -huh. when she's in the airport. airport. They are, the man has said he has landed. And he has said that the immigration has, uh, is, is, com is complaining of his uh -huh. visa. Yeah. So they need 200,000. Mm. And he, she gave, the man gave, you know, somebody else to communicate as though he's in the, in the it, immigration it, office. Yes. And the lady <coughs> sent through M-Pesa 50K. She went at the ship until she borrowed, until it came to, it reached 200. The moment it reached 200, Muteja wa nambari unaopi apatikani kwa sasa. And the lady was crying in the airport. I was comforting her. So she had a lot of expectation. Because of that, men have involved themselves in, you know, people whom they don't know. Some have been conned. Some have even lost their lives. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Because their expectation pushed them to date people mm -hmm. whom even they don't know, strangers, mm -hmm. and they, they end up getting frustrated. There's a, there's a, there's a question here, maybe, uh, Reverend, you can say something about it. Yes. Uh, somebody from Bombasa is saying there's a scenario where a guy is dating a girl. They've been dating for three years. The guy cheats on the girl. He feels remorseful about the issue but hasn't disclosed to uh, their fiancé. They're actually planning, planning to get married, come on, any fiancé. So what, what would you advise him? Run away. The girl doesn't know. The girl doesn't know. Yes. The man is cheating. Uh -huh. Yeah. They're supposed to get married. Yes. The man is cheating. Mm -hmm. Now he's feeling guilty. He's oh. wondering what to do. The girl doesn't know. Oh. I, I, I think it's wisdom uh. to find a way of disclosing this to the girl, uh -huh. yeah. whereby if he knows this is exactly where this guy normally goes to cheat, uh. he comes with the lady, talk to her, to her and let the lady see for herself. For herself. Mm. And then now let the lady make a decision mm -hmm. based on her own, uh, mm. yes, 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 on okay. her own instead, instead of like uh, doing something so that they say that so and so mm. misled me, mm. let her make her own decision. But that means uh, this man is not serious. Not, not serious. He's not serious yeah. mm. And also will keep on cheating mm. even after marriage. Yeah. This is only by the beginning. It's a red flag. Actually, it's one, of the, it's one of the red flags. Yeah. And this is what, one, of the, oh, one of the pitfalls that need, people need to understand what you call object, objectifying people. There are, mm. peop there are people, whenever they look at a lady, mm -hmm. they look at a lady like someone, an object to use. Oh. Not like, not like a spouse, mm. like a like a friend who is coming mm -hmm. to compliment me mm -hmm. that we may design our life together yeah. and start beating our life all together. Okay, they're looking at a um, uh, at a woman or at a man like uh, an, object an object to be used, and that is where abuse comes in. Uh -huh. And that's why, as a, a apostle is talking about ladies coming with a lot of expectation from people. Mm. I think it's very good also today for ladies to learn. Mm. You need also to work hard. That even as you're planning to enter into a relationship, 
it is not a scapegoat for you to get an excuse whereby your bills, your needs are being met mm -hmm. by someone, whereas you are bringing nothing on the table, mm -hmm. whereby now you become like a slave to that person. Yes. He starts abusing you, using you, objectifying you, and you can do nothing because you are here, you are there for survival. Yes. He pays all the bills. Mm -hmm. He pays all the so bills. So he calls all the shots. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, in dating, sometimes even ladies, when you're going out like for a date or you're going for a coffee, you also pay, sometimes pay. It doesn't have to be, there's no place where it's, where the Bible says that only a man should be paying. You should show this man also. You saw, you, you see. But you train a man. I still agree with the pastor. Yeah. In fact, it's as a point, but uh, especially when you train a man mm. uh, doing him. Uh, you know, a man is a man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why even uh, uh, even our children, mm -hmm. if you have a boy child, yeah. uh, sometimes the money you give to him, sometimes he feels, let I buy chocolate for mm. another sister. And you find there's nothing, mm -hmm. but that feeling of I am a man, yeah. mm -hmm. I have a responsibility. Yeah. So when you meet a, a lady the first time and you are a man mm. and she pays your bill ah, that lady no. will not you will uh, you, you are <laughs> no <laughs> the, the, the first time actually you can't yeah. do that yeah. yeah but the second time but for many men they yes. don't like they don't like especially when they are dating yeah they love you know so 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 then apostle <laughs> based on what you said if then you're dating a man mm -hmm. who always has excuses why he cannot pay the bill mm -hmm. or who always has excuses why I need some money. Is that a red flag? Yes, yes it's a red it flag. A red flag. Uh -huh. It's a red flag. And, but also it's good to get to know what, what is he going through. Uh -huh. Because somebody might be, uh, he has no money now, yeah. but he, are, he has had money or rather he will have money. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> you know, it, it, it all comes also to what we call, one of the red flag we call wrong upbringing. Oh, okay. Talk the way, to us. The, the, the way a child has been brought up mm -hmm. will determine how he will treat people yes. and how he will also regard God. Mm -hmm. So if a child has been brought up to a place whereby he never sweats, he never labors, he never does anything, everything is being given Kila to him. Kitu pewa. Pewa. Yeah. They expect that from everybody, everybody. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's very wrong. Okay. And especially the ladies, the, the, the girl of today, the yeah. girl child of today. Yeah. For sure if a man does not have money, mm -hmm. you will be in trouble for the girl child, for the girl child. Of, today. <laughs> of today. Listen to this one from our friend Joyce in Uganda. Mm -hmm. Joyce says, good morning, pastors. My friend uh, got married after one month of dating, and he told me he had prayed about the relationship, and he was at peace with it. But after honeymoon, to one year down the line, their home is a battlefield, and both of them are pastors. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that and also now in relation to that, uh, the period and the length of dating? What would you say about this? Number one, we need to come to realization that uh, relationship, dating and marriage mm. has nothing to do with the pastor. It has everything to do with mm. you as an individual. <laughs> yes. And your character, yeah. because uh, my, my wife is not coming or uh, coming to my life because he's coming to be pastor too. I'll pass him as being as the priest of the house. Yes. yes it's my responsibility. Mm. But he's also coming to meet a man in reality. Mm. And therefore, this issue of courtship, to be honest, is not a good thing to rush into it, no matter how spiritual you are. Mm. You can hear voices, but you need to find <laughs> out. And see, see, where is and see a light. <laughs> <laughs> where is the source of this voice coming from? Uh -huh. Because uh, voices are there, yes. yes. Because uh, uh, at the end of the day, when the voice stops, mm. there will be deep darkness hovering yeah. over the face of that marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's when you'll wake up and tell hey, I made a mistake. Yeah. Mm. And uh, maybe another reason that compels people from doing that very fast, mm. uh, I might be wrong, sometimes if they, by, if they have made some mess, they have messed up before the right time yeah and they try to cover up the mess mm. Mm. by entering into a very quick marriage so that they can hide something that's what what sometimes triggers 
people to get married very fast. By mess, you mean they they engage sexually and maybe possibly the, the girl is pregnant. Exactly. Uh -huh. and I, because it has happened to me. There's a young man who's in the church. Uh, I'll not mention the name because possibly they may also be hearing, mm. listening, watching this. He just came to me and said, Pastor, I've got this lady and uh, I want to get married. I said, mm. ah, that's a good thing. So when do you think we need to start planning about this? We mm. need, I need to see you. I need to talk to the lady. Yeah. So I'm a person, in fact, I want my marriage to, to be on in one month's time. Uh, already I'm going date. I'm going to date. Uh -huh. Because you have been one of the leaders in the church, yeah. we are going to take, o take over this burden and we cannot do it in within, within one month. Yeah. So we need like a few months to prepare and yes. do all blah, blah, blah. Say, no, 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 no. So when I insisted, uh -huh. he left the church mm -hmm. and then uh, he had a wedding. Outside. He hired a oh. place and had a wedding. Yes. Four months after, they had a miracle baby. Four months. Four the months after. Pregnant, eh? So the mm. lady was pregnant. Mm. So the, yeah. hast, the, the, the hurry was about covering up something. Covering up something. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. So in most cases, not all, but in most cases where marriage, where dating or relationship takes a short time mm -hmm. and it's done, mm. it's something to do with mm. covering up something mm. in most mm. cases. Can I answer? Yeah, also yeah you can say something. Uh, that pastor yeah. was spoken. Mm. Uh, never marry... Uh, a man of God, or rather somebody, because he's anointed. Because I came to understand that many people, even they get attracted mm -hmm. to servants of to God. To servants of God. When he sees that person on the pulpit, mm. he's casting out demons, he's powerful, mm. you feel you will be getting to marriage to cast out demons. <laughs> 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 so when you get into the house, you find oh, this... You, you realize the yes. adamu kama the mimi adamu. na issues. <laughs> yes. You did not marry the anointing, mm -hmm. you married a man. Mm -hmm. Or rather, don't marry somebody because he's prayerful. Mm. You know, you don't get attracted by the prayers. You know, uh -huh. I think you need to see a wife in that person. Mm -hmm. If he's a woman, you need to see a, a wife. wife. Yes. You need to see a husband. Mm -hmm. Because uh, marriage, it's a journey. Because it uh, death part us. Yes. So if you were not married, the right person, mm. your journey will be so tough. It will be a tough journey. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. What about the whole issue of people getting into a relationship? for the sake of getting into a relationship okay. you know because uh, everybody's in a relationship so even me i think Zangwa should be in a relationship mm. but marriage is not the end game you're not getting into a relationship because you're looking for a wife like okay. you said he who mm. finds a wife mm. meaning you're looking no you're just getting into a relationship because you're being left out behind eh, mm. to even. I, I want to say <laughs> I, I, I want <laughs> to say yeah. this yeah. it's better to stay single uh -huh. than to marry wrong. Ooh. It's better to stay single. That, by the way, you can go to heaven without a wife mm. or without a husband. Mm. But you cannot go to heaven without Jesus. Yeah. So, Amen. feeling late. Mm. One thing you need to know. We, we don't have age mates in life. We don't have uh, like uh, classmates in life. We don't, neither do we have grace mates in life. You choose your own. Mm. So the people think they are age mates. You, maybe you are born at the same time. Yeah. Life differs. Life, yes. life, has, life is in phases. Yes. Mm. And uh, in these phases, to some, it's earlier. To some, it's late. Mm -hmm. What is important is to realize or to make sure you are in the purpose of God. Mm -hmm. And if you are in the purpose of God, fulfilling God's purpose for you, yeah. mm. even if you are doing that single, Thank God for that mm -hmm. and keep on moving mm -hmm. until God finds you in the same journey. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes. there's, an, there's an interesting thought here, Apostle. Maybe you can say something about it. Mm -hmm. uh, this person says, our parents never practiced courting, but their marriage has held very well and divorce was very rare. Yes. What do you have to say to that? I agree. Uh. I agree 100% with uh -huh. this person. Uh, I think uh, the world has changed. The world has changed. The world has mm -hmm. changed. And also the the, the, the people that we, you know, the generation that we have mm. because of the, a lot of exposure. Yes. They know many things. Mm. Uh, you see, our, our parents, they never took, uh, uh, if it's a, my father, could just marry from a clan that he knows, mm -hmm. you know. But today you, are, you come here to Nairobi, you are uh, from Machakos, you meet Akisi, mm. you have never been there, mm. you don't know the parents, 
you don't know you are, you don't know anything and you jump into the marriage to, to, to the relationship mm -hmm. or to the dating you spend a lot of time and you at the end they say they don't want you mm. or that they don't want the kamba in their in, in their home mm. so i think uh today's uh time it's different from our father's time. Mm. W w would I be right also, just adding on to what Apostle has said, that m probably also within the context of our parents and our grandparents, mm -hmm. they had a culture that was strong. Yes. That governed how every aspect of life was experienced. Yes. Exactly. Would that also be a factor? Because to nowadays we have <coughs> bits and pieces of different cultures from mm -hmm. all over the place. Mm -hmm. And even for those of us who are born again, mm. we have not fully embraced the culture of the kingdom of God. Yes. And so we have a mixture of so many things. Could that be an issue as well? Exactly. Yes, yes. It, it, it does, oh, uh, uh, that's our one, of, one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. Because by then, when a lady gets married to a certain family, mm -hmm. you become... You, you, you are owned by the whole community and the whole family. Mm -hmm. So if you make a mistake, I, I even used to, ha to hear from my father that if, whenever you could beat your wife, mm -hmm. sometimes your brothers or your uncles could call you and even discipline you for yes. doing that. Yes. Because now a woman belongs to the family. Mm -hmm. And like today, whereby even a small child, you cannot discipline. Mm -hmm. Because like, mind your own business, I yeah. mind my own business. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now, today we're also having a problem because the church has become a place where people are only coming mm -hmm. for miracle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are coming for like, uh, for jam. Mm -hmm. They're not ready to... <laughs> To grow and then to take uh, responsibility, to take responsibility. Yes. Mm. then you rebuke them today. They move to another they move to church. Another church. Mm. They are not taking the culture of of the ghost or of the church mm. the way the church is supposed to be. Mm. That can as well be one of the reason why. And also, as Apostle said, the world has changed, mm -hmm. culture has changed, things mm. have changed, mm. and uh, all these things contribute towards that. Mm. So, if we take ourselves to the times of our parents, or yeah. if we bring our parents those days today. Mm. They also have it hard, hard. They will have it rough. Mm, they, that's yes. true. They will. They yes. will. My time is almost up. I'll give each one of you a minute. Okay. What would your parting shot be to that individual who's been listening to this conversation? And maybe either they're thinking of dating or they're already in the dating scenario. Oh, what I can say is be prepared. Mm -hmm. Walk right. Be forecasted. Mm. Do not... Uh, enter into a relationship because uh, of material things. Mm -hmm. You have seen that. You have seen he has a house. He has, he has a car. Love the man. See the man. Mm -hmm. See the, the, the lady. And I want to promise you, you will not regret. Also, I want to add this. Be careful of online dating. Mm -hmm. It's very, very dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard a few people saying they succeeded, mm. but majority, they end up very frustrated. Okay. Very frustrated. Uh, have a fellowship with that person that mm -hmm. you want to, to marry. Mm. Uh, spend time with that person. Yeah. Invite him mm. for, 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 for dinner. Get to know him. Okay. Get to know where he comes from. Get to know his culture. Mm. Get to know his faith. Okay. And I want to tell you not to regret Awesome. Apostle, parting shot, one minute. Uh, I'll say, number one, be informed. Mm. Just Don't just sit down to, to wait for things to happen because there are a few levels people live in. Number one, people live in assumption, doing nothing that mm. assuming things will work. Yes. Number two, living in ignorance. Mm -hmm. Ignorance, either you don't know or you, and you don't want to know or you know wrongly. Yeah. Number three, living in tradition where mm -hmm. you are doing things the way you find them being done. Mm -hmm. And lastly, it's about living your life based on the word of God. Mm -hmm. Be informed of what, is, what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And then have a mentor, someone you're looking up to, mm -hmm. someone who can rebuke you, someone who can correct, correct you, mm -hmm. and someone who can help you. Okay. And also, uh, like uh, such kind of a show, people should just... Tune in mm. and learn and get wisdom from it. Very this true. will change their life. And if maybe they are walking around, they can get some of the material. Mm. Like uh, this one, I think, uh, is yours. Mm. It has all the information. Okay. It can help people in uh, dating. Yeah. Uh, it, it gives you all the background, what to do even during courtship, okay. how to get a spouse. In some of our bookshops, Nuria Bookshop, uh, Kasangas, they are there. It can be of great help to them. Okay. Yes. Apostle Stella, Reverend Boniface, thank you for coming. Amen. Truly appreciate it. I hope today's conversation has given you some insights if you are on the dating scene. 
my friend, have your eyes open and look out for some of these things. And like somebody once told me, when somebody shows you who they truly are, believe them. <laughs> believe them. <laughs> That's all the time we have. Clinic to Mifunga. My doctor is going to be able to get out of the house. They need drip. They need more attention. So my doctor is going to be able to get Until next week for another session on the relationship clinic. Do have a good day. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new fresh content every day. Stay tuned and enjoy fresh uplifting content.